Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Ameya, and in this video, we are going to see how to open and close SolidWorks through VBA. In previous video, what we tried to do is we tried to link Excel with the SolidWorks so that we can perform all the VBA operations in Excel. So we are starting with this first command, which is declaring a variable which we will call open SolidWorks. I am using a short word OSW and I am defining that variable as a special type of variable as SLD works. Okay. Once you are connected with SolidWorks, you will get these pop-ups uh, frequently. So just select those pop-ups. Then I will be starting a VBA process procedure that is a main so i will go with sub main and once you create this sub main automatically it will be closed with and sub okay now in this process i will be starting and will be setting up a variable that is open solidworks is my variable and i will set up that variable with create object create object command with the function double quotes with the function SLD works dot application. This will go ahead and open the SolidWorks application from my system. Okay, so the prerequisite for this is you should have a VBA environment and you should also have a SolidWorks inbuilt in your system. So I'm just running this program and this will ask me to save my file that is say open SOLIDWORKS okay I will say create sorry I have created a new sheet so I will just copy paste everything in a new sheet in the module just give me one second So I have created a procedure called open SolidWorks now and I am running this process. So what it will do is it will open a SolidWorks for me through my VBA. Let's ignore the pop-ups and a SolidWorks will get be open at my system. Now it is not visible from this. So what I will do is I will add one more command that is open SolidWorks which is my variable dot visible and I will make sure it is true. What it will do is it will open up a SOLIDWORKS and put it on a main screen. Okay, so that's how you open a SOLIDWORKS. Okay, once you open a SOLIDWORKS, let's say I want to put a message box. So what I will do is I will put a command open SOLIDWORKS dot send message to user I will select that user tab to select the pop-ups and I will put a message in front of user that solid works is open right and then let's say I am just running a program you will get a message that solid works is open Okay, if you want to do the whole program, just stop everything and run a SOLIDWORKS, you will get a close the SOLIDWORKS first and then try to run it. You will get a program which is running a SOLIDWORKS first, opening it, making it on the front screen and then you will get a message that is SOLIDWORKS is open. Okay, now we are coming to the last step that is called closing the solid box right so I will again call my variable OSW and I will use exit app I will get exit app command to close solid box so what the system will do is now system will open the solid box it will pop up a message and to close the solid box that is how you can perform or access a solid box from Excel or VBA Ignore the pop ups.
Now system is accessing SOLIDWORKS and once you say OK to this, system will also close the SOLIDWORKS. So that is how we are basically controlling SOLIDWORKS through VBA from Excel. Okay. Now let us say I want to add a button in Excel. So what I will do is I will go ahead to the developer tab, insert a button, okay, controller button, okay, assign a macro for that button. So I am assigning open SOLIDWORKS which we have created right now and say OK. And then I will edit and say edit text and I will edit this text as open SOLIDWORKS. Okay. Click to open SOLIDWORKS. And now what you have to just do is open the Excel file, click on open SOLIDWORKS, it will run a code without going into VBA. Okay. So, SOLIDWORKS will get opened. It will pop up a message that is SOLIDWORKS is open. Once you put a OK there, it will close the SOLIDWORKS. Okay. So, that is how you can perform the first operation that is open and close SOLIDWORKS from VBA to Excel. If you like this content, do check out the playlist VBA for SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for joining.